What's up everybody, it's Flamingo CK, and the baseball season is in full swing right now, but I am starting with the franchise mode with the Washington Nationals. The reason I chose this team is I am an NL fan uh, of the National League. I am a Brewers fan by from when I was born. I grew up in Milwaukee, but I want to try a new team that is in the NL because the NL has a lot more fun than the AL, and I don't, I could not find like an AL team that was fun enough where it would be interesting to try to build and go towards the World Series, and they're not stacked teams like the Astros or the Yankees or the Red Sox. So I settled on the Nationals because they kind of have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of potential, and they might be able to do well if you put in the right hands. Season expectations for this team are pretty high. I believe we have potential to be a strong contender in the NL and maybe even contend for the World Series. We have really good pitchers in Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, and Patrick Corbin. And the rotational guys, like the bullpen, are, is not very good, but we have some good setup men and a very good closer. Uh, we have some pretty steady bats. We have Anthony Rendon. We have Juan Soto. We have a few other players that can play really well. And Trey Turner is one of the most exciting players that I'm looking forward to using. And he can steal. He has speed. He has 97 speed and 98 steal. So that'll be really exciting. And without further ado, let's meet the team. The Washington Nationals roster as a whole is pretty good on MLB The Show 19. As you can see, there is a 97, a 92, and an 87 for our starting pitching. And that's just the top three. We have Sean Doolittle as a 90 for a closer. So being ahead a little bit going into the end of a game is really good. Our setup men are Trevor Rosenthal and Kyle Baraclaw, and they're both an 82 and a 79 respectively. So that'll be a really uh, good tandem to have, and we can be comfortable going into the end of a game with a lead. But the main players that we want to talk about and I'm going to highlight moving forward are mostly Juan Soto, Trey Turner, Anthony Redone, and Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer has some pretty good quirks. It allows him to be very versatile on the mound, and we can get a lot of production out of him. He has very good stats as well. He strikes out a lot of people at 300 last year. Only gave up 23 home runs, 220 innings. He's just an amazing player. He deserves a 97 overall. Wins above replacement at 6.9. Anthony Rendon had some amazing stats as well. He's going to be our main hitter. He's batting in a three spot for us. We might be able to move it around moving forward, but OBP of 0.374. Sean Doolittle's statistics have been very strong. He pitched in 45 innings i'm definitely going to be pushing that a lot more this season he only had an era of 1.6 and 60 strikeouts in those 45 innings so he will be a very good player to have and we'll be leaning on him heavily his quirks definitely allow him to excel in his role as a pressure cooker and control artist and then uh strasburg is another player that's just a, so i'm so excited to use he's a uh, He's been in the league a while, but he's a potential of A, 90 overall. And you can just look at that, it's amazing. Turner is an amazing player. It's overall 90, he's only 25 years old. He has a contract of 3.7 million, and his stats are just ridiculous. Last year, he struck out 132 times. Uh, he had a bunch of stolen bases. Yeah, I'm really excited to use this guy. I think we'll be expecting at least like 60, 65 steals from him, because every time he's on base, he's stealing. Hopping back into the overall, and you can just see just how stacked this lineup is. Juan Soto, amazing player as well. He has really good stats. He has 99 plate discipline. Great clutch. This is his second year in the league. He's only 20 years old. He's from the Dominican Republic. Overall of 88, potential of A. That's great. Patrick Corbin, our left-handed ace, 21.9 million per year. Allows us some flexibility with him. He's a knee buckler, pickoff artist. Those are really nice with lefties. Really excited to use this guy. He has a great arm. And we have, we have a bunch of other players that are going to be aren't going to be stars or anything, but they're going to definitely fill in their role. Matt Adams has some good power, 81 power versus righties. And the prospect I'm looking forward to the most is Carter Keboom. 66 overall, age 21. He has a potential of A. Uh, not too great of uh, batting stats, but we can look for the development. I might do like a little mini episode to kind of highlight what he's doing and kind of jump into him and see what uh, he can do. We have some class A prospects as well. 
I don't foresee them doing too much. I don't know if I'll go long enough in the series for them to impact our team, but we could also use them as trade pieces as well if we want to make a run at the trade deadline or something like that. But we have a lineup that's pretty deadly from even from number one all the way down to number eight without a DH. And with the DH, we have some pretty crazy contact hitters, some power hitters, and Trey Turner leading off. Anytime he's on the base, he's he's a threat. Uh, our pitching rotation is just deadly. Scherzer, Strasburg, Corbin, even Helix and Annabelle Sanchez have some pretty nasty pitches as well. So we won't be hurting in the starter department, but our bullpen is where we can kind of work on and develop some talent, maybe bring some guys up from AAA and AA. And again, the setup men and the closer, really awesome to depend on. Our salaries are looking pretty heavy. Again, why this team is in a win-now mode, $191 million spent. And here's the NL East. We have the Mets, Phillies, Marlins, and Braves. So good competition, but also some pretty easy wins against some of the uh, bad teams. And looking at the free agents, we have uh, Kimbrel, Dallas Keiko, AJ Ramos, and Adam Liberator that I was looking at that might be able to boost our roster a little bit. Some top prospects. We don't have any in the top 13. I didn't really care to look too in depth, but Fernando Tatis and Vladimir Guerrero are in there. And looking at our general manager goals win the World Series, completely doable. Uh, I, I'm going to have some personal goals that we're going to want to accomplish, like hitting a home run with a pitcher or inside the park home run. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am. I'm very excited. And I'm going to leave you guys with a little teaser as to what's to be expected for this season.